Yeah. Yeah. What's up, sons? It's Blind Guide with Sound of Attack once again, coming at you with yet another how to video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Varus project. Yes, Varus coin, which is a CPU mineable coin, currently the most profitable CPU mineable coin, which is why we're going to do a how to for you guys on it. And we're going to be showing you all on Windows 10. And then we will be looking at Hive OS and simple mining, etc. at a later date. We are coming at you live from the new 5950X render machine that I'm pretty excited to be utilizing. That being said, I botched the, the footage for it. But before we get into this how-to, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers or bots. Welcome back. We are still working on picking up some more sponsors. I'm really bad at replying to emails. Everybody that's reached out to me, I'm trying. There's a lot. A lot's going into junk too. So just bear with me as I try to get through it all. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Varus project. It is a CPU mineable coin like we talked about. It's super profitable on Ryzen CPUs and still pretty profitable on Intel CPUs. So it's definitely something you should be taking a look at. And the reason I'm showing you on Windows 10 is most of the time if you're running like a newer Ryzen CPU that's going to hash really good, it's maybe on your gaming PC or something along those lines. As always, a disclaimer. I do not recommend installing any sort of mining software on a PC that you have personal information on or financial information on. Maybe get yourself a different PC to handle all of that. Maybe just a laptop that you're not going to use for mining something cheap or whatever from Best Buy. And then, you know, if you want to have your gaming stuff on there, cool. I usually just don't even keep my financial stuff tied to any of my gaming accounts like Steam or whatever. I make it authenticate every time. Just a kind of a tip there if you want to put it on a gaming machine. Without further ado, let's hop into it right now. Boom, there we go. So your wallet options are pretty limited. You have the desktop, the mobile app, the paper wallet, the command line, and then there's some alternate wallets. Of course, you want to stay with something that is going to be official, so I recommend one of these. The desktop is going to be like whatever you use later on to recover your paper wallet would be my suggestion. It will sync the chain, that sort of stuff, so it will take longer to install and utilize the desktop app. So if you're looking at mining and holding, for an extended period of time. I recommend the paper wallet. Paper wallet's pretty easy. You're just gonna click into it and say get paper wallet and then it's gonna generate it for you. You'll need to move your mouse around and type in and that sort of thing for it to generate and you'll kind of see it start going just to add some randomness to it. Do, 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 do. Boom. And so here's your private key that you're going to want to copy out. You can either write this down on a separate piece of paper or print it out or save it to an encrypted USB drive. Another option, of course, would be saving it to something like Nord Locker, which is an encrypted cloud drive. That's the easiest access, but the least secure. The most secure will always be obviously trying to print it out. Anytime it's touching the internet, like right now, this wallet address and the secret key is vulnerable as long as you're touching the internet. So get it off as quickly as possible. What you'll need here for mining is going to be this address right here. So you can just copy it out and do, we'll do a quick notepad and then we will go ahead and copy the key information out. We're going to click the encrypt and encrypt it with a password just so we have it encrypted and then you can go ahead and click the print so you'll have your public and your private key for recovery we can just go ahead and save it to the desktop we'll just say Varus private another option like i said is just printing it and then obviously encrypt that later on 
and you can use that information here to recover it to your desktop wallet to send the funds out later. Now, if you are doing what I'm doing with this particular token in mining and then selling it, your only real option is going to be BitThumb Global. It has the highest supply for the various projects. So this is where you're going to have the highest possibility of being able to swap it for other cryptocurrencies or stable coins. Now a note on that, whenever I do a video on this sort of thing and more people start mining it, it means more supply goes into it, which means that your profitability will be affected. So current profitability, say from the 11900 K video or the 5950 X, video may be invalid just based off of the amount of supply we're adding in because this doesn't have a ton of supply currently. And then also because it's a typical exchange, the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that your sell and buy limits and that sort of thing are going to take a little bit longer to exchange than say something like Ethereum, right? So all, or even Monero, right? So you need to keep these things just at the top of your mind because it is going to push you into learning a little bit more about trading. If you would like specifics on that, I'll try to do some research and let you guys know what the best times to sell and such for this would be. But right now, I don't even know. I kind of just been putting it up and making sure that it's high enough in price that I have my stop loss there to where I'm not losing out based on power or something along those lines. All right, so back into it. To create an account, it's actually pretty easy. There's no geographical restrictions. So you can just come in here and fill out the sign-up sheet. You'll send a verification code to your email. It will ask for one of these little CAPTCHA deals. You'll open your mail. It put it in our other. It did go into junk. Uh, through exchange as well. So you may need to check your junk account You create a password and confirm that password and Then you will say I have read use my invitation code that I will provide down in the description below to support the channel and Then click proceed never save your passwords to the browser especially edge and then it'll prompt you to set up two-factor authentication. We have recommended Authy in the past, so if you have already been following other guides, open your Authy, click the Google authentication option, and then copy the secret key, go back to your Authy, click the add button, paste in the secret key, click account, and you can just name it BitThumb. We'll do orange to match save and then you'll need to copy this out type in your login password that we created earlier and paste in your google verification code and 2fa will be complete at this point what you'll need to do is go up to your assets and click the deposit option and then you are going to click the select a coin and it's called the varus project and it's vrsc at this point, you'll click the copy button and we're just going to paste that in. So here, what we have is we have our cold storage and then we have our hot storage and you can mine to whichever one you want. The safest is going to be mining to the paper wallet and then the easiest access with the least amount of fees is going to be mining directly to the exchange. A lot of people advise against mining directly to the exchange just because it is a third party. And since it is a third party, you may lose your coins, especially when we're talking about the amount of different exchanges and the type of coin and the level this coin is at, that is a possibility. So just keep those sorts of things in mind and be very careful and make responsible decisions. Okay, so now that we have the wallet sorted, we just need to grab ourselves the miner. The link to the GitHub will be down in the description below. So go ahead and click that. And then you're gonna be looking for the Win64 version. You're gonna click it and it will download it. Now, in some cases, the browser may block it and you'll need to click the little ellipses and click keep file and approve it through. Additionally, if your antivirus removes it, you may get an error that says something along the lines of the executable does not exist. If that happens, you need to allow it through your firewall. If you continue to have issues, definitely hit us up in Rocket Chat and somebody will be able to help you there, one of the community members. We're gonna leave it in downloads for now. 
you're going to right click and say 7-zip and extract here. If you are using the built-in Windows one, you can just say right click and extract all and it'll take care of that as well for you. And then we're going to go ahead and get it extracted. So now that we have it extracted, you can see here that we have a bunch of different batch files set up to mine. We're looking for the one that is Varus coin. We're going to right click it and say edit. And you will see here basically a batch file a set of commands with the switches and everything ready to go. You have the mining pool right here and you have your wallet address right here. If you're in the EU, you can start mining at Zerg pool, no problem. But if we take a look at mining pool stats, most of the hash rate is on luck pool. Unfortunately, this is a problem with this coin that we need to be very, very cognizant of. Uh, over 50% of the hash rate is currently on luck pool, meaning that it is easier for Luckpool themselves or a bad actor to hack Luckpool and perform a 51% attack on this particular network. And that's a big problem that they have right now. So I would kind of encourage you guys to use something like Zergpool instead. And that's just because we don't want to have that much concentrated on a single pool. But if you want to make the most profit at the same time, then you'd want to use luck pool. So whenever you're doing this sort of thing, what you're kind of looking for is when you click in, you're looking for like a, a how to or something along those lines, a connect button. Uh, luck pool has a connect button, for example, and you're looking for essentially the server address, especially for your region. Now we've talked about testing, of course, your ping to different mining pools. That applies here. Go check that video out if you wanna find the best pool with the quickest connection for you in particular. So once you've found it, you're gonna copy out the server address, open up the batch file again, and paste that into the pool section. And then you will also need to grab yourself a port. Now, when we are talking about CPU mining, we're looking for the CPU port, not the farm or the rig. Then you will go back and you will paste that port in after the colon, making sure the colon stays there and there's no additional spaces in this field, right? So one space after pool, server address, colon, port, and then You'll have a space between that and the wallet. We'll go back to where we put our wallets in. We are gonna use, for example, here, the wallet for the exchange, BitThumb. Then we will go back to our batch file and paste it over, of course, the wallet address here. We will click File and Save, or you can do Control S. And at this point, you should be ready to mine. So what you will do is go back to your folder that you have SRB miner extracted to and just double click the batch file. Now for SRB miner, it's similar to a lot of other miners where you can just hit the H button to get the hash rate. As you can see here with the 11900K, we have eight cores, 16 threads, and we are at 25 mega hash a second. Now we are going to copy the address that we are using the mine on and we can go back to luck pool and of course go ahead and go to the wallet address and click go and then eventually this will start showing you your potential earnings and your balance and the total paid and essentially your hash rate over time give this a little bit of time it does take a little bit before it will start populating with information because it needs to be over at least 15 minutes sometimes a little bit longer so don't freak out as long as you are showing connected and results accepted and jobs received within your command prompt window here you are good to go so there you go that's as simple as that to mine the various project uh, with a cpu on windows 10 it's currently the most profitable project. However, that may vary depending on how many people decide to start mining it and decide to start flooding the market with supply, especially because of how low the cap is or how low the supply is currently. So this could vary and change significantly. If you're looking for something a little bit more solid, easier to trade, that sort of thing, Monero or QRL, are two different options. We have how to's for both of those up on the channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.